What is up guys, this is Matt from Heat Draw Alignment. We're going to be doing a cockatrice tutorial today, how to install it, and then I'm going to be doing some gameplay on Just Guys to Healy. Alright, before we get into the video, I just want to show you guys our Twitter. This is just getting up and running. Just hope you guys check it out. I'm also going to thank you guys for 50 subs, which is great. Hopefully we get some more content going. Just keep the flow going. But let's get right into it. Alright, starting out, we're going to go to Google. Only Google. Can't use Bing. Can't use Yahoo. Because, you know. And we're going to type in cockatrice. It'll be the first one that pops up, cockatrice.github.io. And we're going to download for your preferred operating system and the, or the operating system you're running. So, Windows for me. And we're going to download that. It won't take that long. And we'll open it up. It'll ask some permissions from you. Hit yes. And then we're going to go into the setup. So, quickly just click through this. I don't want to start menu. And we're going to install it. It won't take that long. It's a pretty small file. And then we're going to run. All right. So after we do that, we're going to go to our card database. We're going to say yes here. We want English. And keep the download URL the same. And we're going to import all of our cards. And we're going to import all of our tokens. And then we're all good to go. We're going to make sure all of our sets are enabled. And it'll do this all automatically for us. And we're going to go to Cockatrice. And then we're going to register to a server. So the host is going to be cockatrice.woogerworks.com Port is 4747 And then player name, password, email, country, real name That's all you guys, you can figure, it, you can figure all those out Alright, I already have an account so I'm just going to connect So we're going to go with cockatrice.woogerworks.com and then port is 4747 and then you just type in your player name and password down here so to build a deck it's pretty easy two ways you can do it so first way is just type in the card that you want so let's say we want walking ballista and that'll be right there and you're just going to double click it and it'll put it into the main deck. If you want something in the sideboard, let's say we want um, Hanger Back Walker in the sideboard. Alright, we're going to find Hanger Back Walker. We're going to double click. It'll go into the main board. Go to the main board, double click on Hanger Back Walker. It'll go into the sideboard. Alright, another way, or in the way that I do it, is we're going to go to Google. We're going to go to either MTG Goldfish or Tapped Out. And we're going to download the deck list. You're going to type in sideboard, what the sideboard is. Pull out a colon. Copy and paste everything. Then we'll go into deck editor. Load deck from clipboard. And then we're going to hit OK. And it'll put everything in for us. So I already have this deck saved, but to save the deck, you're just going to go to save deck as. And I have a little folder for all my decks. And then you're just going to name it and put a saver in there. So again, to a game, you can either just click on a game with the format you want, like this one, standard. Or to create a game, you're just going to go type in standard here. If you want to play standard, and you're just going to click game type, click on standard. And you can do some restrictions, like only buddies can join, spectators can watch, everything like that. And then you just hit OK, and it'll make your game. Since this guy is a standard game right here, we're just going to enter this. We're going to load our deck, which it'll just open up a little finder, and you're just going to have to find your deck. Alright, so we want to be on Just Guys Sicily today. And we're going to just hit ready to start, and then I'll know that we're ready to start. Alright, so starting off, we're going to hit Control i to roll a die. We got a 19, so we're going to place. So just type in IP, or I play. And we're going to shuffle that library, which is Control s and Control m is to draw our initial hand. If we don't like our initial hand, we're going to hit Control m again, and it'll mulligan. I'm going to keep this one. And then we're going to start off. Alright. So to play a card, you can just drag and drop the card. And then you're going to click through the phases of your turn. So untap, upkeep, draw, all your combat, and then you're going to hit end. Once you hit end, do not hit pass. Your opponent will hit pass, so if they have anything to do on your end step, they can do that. See, so yeah, I'm going to hit pass here, so it's my turn. Alright, so we'll play an island, and we're going to pass back to him. 
Alright, so he has a Skunk and Hollow Blight Fen out. So he's probably on that UB control list. We're going to anticipate. See if he has anything. This is the stack in this, so you just put things here. Alright, so to look at the top cards of your library, you're going to hit Control W. It'll ask you the amount of cards. So here we want two. We're going to put in two, and we're going to hit Enter. So Radiant Flames and... Uh, oh, wait. No, we want three. Sorry. Three. And Radiant Flames... I don't think we want Radiant Flames. Probably Oath of Jace. We'll put into our hand. Actually, no, we don't want with the J's. We want the island. And then we're going to move these to the bottom of our library. And then it'll be our turn. Alright, so another island. Dang. Right now we're just going to play with the J's. Alright, and then we're going to draw three cards. Discard two. Control D is to draw. Discard two. Alright. So we can get rid of Island and Spire Bluff. And then we're going to pass back to our opponent. Alright, so right now we're in a pretty good position. Um, next turn, we can either Glimmer of Genius. Alright, so it's our turn. Um, we can either Glimmer of Genius or play Feldar Guardian. Or we have Disallow. Um, so we're kind of being the aggressor here. So we're going to play Port Town, Reveal an Island. Have that on tap. And then I think what we're going to do... I think we want the Feldar Guardian to just blink the Oath of Jace. Um, he may have a counter spell, but... I'd rather have this get countered than the Glimmer of Genius. So let's see if he lets it resolve. Alright, so he's laying that resolve. We'll target Oath of Jays. So, one, two, three. And then we're going to discard. Um, Needle Spider is actually okay. probably want another white mana so discard that and we'll discard the we're all set on blue mana and then we'll end all right so it's back to his turn and he has nothing else to do all right our turn so i think we're just gonna play our needle spiders tapped Pass back to him. Actually, we'll swing for one here. So we're going to start combat, click on attack, swing. He'll take the one, and then we'll just kind of pass back to him. Alright, so he's going to draw a card here. Just pass back to us, and a turn will glimmer of genius. See if this resolves. Alright. So we're getting scry 2, so control W. And we don't want either of those. Actually, we may want the fumeral. Oh, dang it. Dang, didn't want to do that. Oh, well. Um, ah, we have needle spiders already, so it's fine. Negate's good. Alright, draw... Alright, so we can get the Sahili Rai combo going and back that up with Negate. So that's probably the play. Um, or Disallow. I mean, we, we can afford to do this. Alright, so we'll play Sahili. See if he's counter. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So you can always just type good. And then if you're. Oh, alright. Grasp of Darkness. 
Targeting that will negate. Let's see if he has anything. All right, so GG. So he can see the game, and then we're gonna go right here, and we're gonna unlock our sideboard. So the sideboard, you just drag and drop cards. So we're gonna bring in our dispels. We're gonna bring in Jace. Um, here he's probably really good. And what are we gonna take out here? All right, we can take out our harness lightnings. We can take out our radiant flames. Probably bring in Gideon too, actually. Take out our mortaling glares. And I'm all set to rock with this 60. Yeah, let's go with this. All right, so he's gonna be able to play. We're gonna shuffle up. He's drawing his initial hand. We'll look at ours. This is fine by me. Keep Tunigate. That's always good. All right. We'll draw Island. Um, we'll just go Vantage. And turn. So I haven't really got to see. I think he's on like a Soul Tie Control build, kind of. All right. Um, Spire Bluff. Pass back to him. All right. He's passing back to us. We can just play port time tapped. It won't matter. All right. Play port time tap because it's a little bit less information for him. What's he doing here? Transgress the mind. Um, oh, whoops. We will negate that. All right. Draw. So smashing failed our guardian doesn't seem great. So we could have another double de double negate or glimmer genius, which I like either. All right, we're gonna try for glimmer. Disallow. That's fine. Alright, hit the land drop. Holding the gate, Feldar Guardian, the gate. That seems fine. Alright, we're gonna blink. Uh, blink this. Put a put a twenty turn clock on him, guys. That's always good. I untapped with Guardian. Oh, yeah, he got me. Okay. Yeah, got, got me good. Dang. All right. So he just concedes there, but that's how the game works. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. It wasn't that long. But if you did, make sure you leave a like. Make sure you subscribe. We'll get some more stuff going for you. And that wasn't that boring, but hopefully we're going to get this deck in paper. That's my goal. And yeah, see you in the next one.